Boom. That's kind of like Seinfeld, right? Do you guys know that Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld, for those of you that may or may not know what that is, that famous sitcom television show, they did that theme song different every single week because they matched it to his monologue. So just a little bit of information for you that uh, maybe you can store up in your noggin and use on a trivia night somewhere in the future. Hey, what's up? My name is Russ and welcome to all of you watching on the replay. Those of you that are with us live, where else could you rather be? But right here, right now, let me come in your ear holes for just a little bit. So hopefully, God willing, that this sound is going to be okay. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, if not, somebody please let me know what is not working here. I think we're live. Hold on. Somebody give me a thumbs up if we're live and make sure that this is uh, this is definitely working all right. Okay, good, good, good. Let me go live on Instagram. On the gram, I don't know if anybody's gonna watch. I have to clickety click the clacker and and there we go. So welcome for all of you joining on YouTube, on Instagram, wherever you're at. Uh, good. I'm glad the audio sounds good. I got my wife upstairs listening in. I was like, you listen and let me know if everything sounds okay. First off, again, welcome to our Sunday evening communion. I would like to offer my sincere condolences to those of you who may be fans of the Browns, the Dolphins, of the unfortunate, the Cowboys got beat by those Packers. But hey, it's a wild card weekend football in the United States. We all love it. You know, it's a it's a thing. Um, what's up, Chris and all you guys, Andrew? Hey, you know, I, I'm like a lot of you guys. I work today. I spent six hours working out in the cold, a lot of overtime call. Actually, they were at public storage as they couldn't get doors closed, which, hey, shout out ticker PSA public storage surprisingly busy on a day when the wind chills were below 20 almost 30 below zero with the wind chills and there was a lot of people at um a public storage in naperville and one in Des Plaines in the chicagoland area here so yeah uh, a lot of people still got too much junk and they don't have anywhere to put it all so that's where <laughs> that's where that is and that's where we are and you're here so we're gonna talk about some actually three places I'm going to show you there's links in the description below where you can uh, find the videos or not the videos so you're saying that <laughs> you can find the links for places where you can keep tabs on what senators and congress people in the United States are buying uh, there's a whole act right that wasn't it the Pelosi act oh I forget what it was the um, preventing elected officials from I forget so it was whatever it was somebody can google it the Pelosi act P-E-L-O-S-I because uh, she's her and her husband have done well in the stock market and they think that politicians shouldn't be investing whether that's right or that's wrong that will be remain to be seen but first off I promised I was going to do this uh, thank you. My wife says I'm <laughs> looking and sounding great. We would hope so. I do appreciate that. Wife, I do appreciate that from you. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll watch Outlander when I'm done with this right here thing. And uh, I wanted to give a guy a shout out here. A new YouTube channel. Love to pay it forward when I can. Hey, this thing is still pretty small what we do around here. But there is also a link for this in the description below. Real quick, Divot on Focus. This guy's got 17 videos, new channel. So uh, I don't believe he shared with me his name. He hit me up and he was like, hey, how much to promote the channel? I was like, dude, I'll just give you a shout out on the next stream. So uh, if you're looking for somebody on a brand new journey, both in investing and on YouTube, uh, check that out. Look at this, this bull. I'm gonna guess that that thumbnail is uh, an AI generated. And if it is, dude, shout out, cheers to you. So there you go, Divot on Focus. Uh, channel uh, if you want to get some new um, you know if you want to get some new
All right. Sound, I know. No sound. There we go. I, it's back. It's because I'm dicking around with the phone. You see? I picked it up and I knocked my cord loose. So, God help us. Here, everybody focus on... Do you know what this is? Does anybody know? I don't know the name. It's a craftsman tool. Somebody, you won't win a prize. Tell me what that is. Yeah, I know. We're good. It's... It's because I got to have my image on this stupid phone there to know that I'm broadcasting out there to the world. So, Okay, you guys ready? We got a good little crowd in here, 37 of us. It is Kevin. It is a level, but it has two names. So somebody, uh, yeah. uh, what did I say the last two minutes? Did you guys catch uh, the uh, Dividend Focus YouTube channel? I showed you Dividend Focus, so... In the description below and it was probably a bunch of uh, junk about that anyway all right so if you're still with us I'm gonna show you the three places and then we're gonna there you go Pat torpedo level bubble level kind of I guess I'd accept that Jim but yeah Pat I was looking for torpedo level you get the golden star all right now with that being said and done ladies and gents what we're gonna do this is the first one again I have links below Actually, I need to change this. I never remember to change this. Sorry if you have to see that good old streamception thing going on. But uh, first one is Senate Stock Watcher. I believe this does just do the Senate. So, hey, if you wanted to see what the Senate was buying and selling, this site, I don't really like the layout that much. It's not as clean. It's not as easy to look around. So I've never uh, been on it too much there you see on the left column they have congress stock watcher house stock watcher so uh, that's one of them let's see what it does if you click on that can't be reached that's awesome okay uh hopefully it's not my inner there we go all right so that's enough for that <laughs> hey they, that's they get one one shot there so that is senate stock watcher if you want to play around that one this one looks the sleekest i like the black layout the black on the white Capital Trades. I think this is just the uh, just Congress, I believe. I know I should, he's like this guy should know more, but I don't pay that much attention. But some of you like to for ideas to see what these uh, politicians are buying and doing. Uh, you know, bit of trades. Here's the latest trades we've got right here, and I'm going to get to the top ten in the next one. So. Uh, honestly, I like to focus on the buys because we know that you can sell for a million reasons. There's a, a million and one reasons to sell a stock, but you're really only going to buy for one is because you think it's going to go up. So interestingly, I, I don't remember if one of you guys was buying S&P Global. So uh, Shelly Moore, who's a Republican from West Virginia, bought S&P Global, Comcast, Cisco, and Chevron. Looks like we got a fellow dividend investor in the house. And let's go one more page to, uh, here's another person. Tommy Tuberville bought Paramount. I know they've been having some struggles. And Tommy, good old Tommy T, he bought Key Corp. And the last one, Tommy T, also wants to get in gold mining, uh, which can tie into uh, being a, you know, why own physical gold? I would rather own the, own the gold miner, so that's him. So yeah, Capital Trades, this one is a little bit of a nicer website, I think, but from what I could find, I couldn't find a top 10 list. So, oh, actually, here we go. They have a Nancy Pelosi uh, whole thing dedicated to her down there. And the last one here is our Smart Insider, which again, this looks like something I would have built. Looks more like my style. Uh, it's just the data, and if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, you've got the most sold and the most bought, and Papa here will, oh, it's not going to clear out, it's going to be fuzzy. Anyway, you get the gist, we'll just really quick, shout out to Ryan Williams, I don't know if he popped in, but uh, NetApp is the number one that was bought in the last 60 days, they're doing it by the max value paid, and uh, that's just something you can use, NVIDIA, Pfizer, uh, Rick, you talked about Pfizer, uh, Cross Timbers Royalty Trust. So there you go, Celsius. But this is back to November, and there is a delay on when they report. I don't remember how long it is. If anybody does, let, if anybody does, let us know. And that's it. That's it. So that's three places that if you want to get a fix on seeing what they uh, what they're buying. And as I 
be a little self-indulgent here. We see the Rams are up, or the, the Lions are up 20, 21 to nothing. Sam Laporte, a two-yard TD. Okay, nice. Anyway, everybody, so that's that. I need to stop sharing so you don't go crazy and um, with your eyes. So, all right, that's it. What do you guys think? Do you look, do you pay attention to what politicians are buying? Does that float your boat? Does that interest you in any way, shape, or form? What do you, what do you think about all that? And uh, we will get to news. Um, I did find the name of that book for those of you watching last week. Remember, I, I told you, hey, you should buy that one book by that one guy that was about investing. And I know that narrowed it down quite a bit, but it is actually uh, Michael Mobison was with Alfred Rappaport. They wrote a book called Expectations Investing, and it's about trying to use the, the charting and the price to determine when a good buy or sell for a stock may be and not worrying about discounted cash flow analysis because when you do a DCF, you have to predict 10 years out into the future what the cash flows will be so you can discount it back to today. And obviously, nobody knows what's going to happen, so that can be, uh, that can be difficult. Yes, <laughs> thank you, man. I, I don't know if I would use great. I'll take it, you know. I don't know who told you, but I am extremely susceptible to flattery, so thank you for that. I hear one of my children in the background. They don't want to be on the live stream. Josie, do you? <laughs> Gonna just ignore me. Oh, you know what it is? Do you guys have kids? They walk around with the earbuds in all day. I don't think it's good. Board retiree, what's up, man? I'll give you the salute. Thank you. Uh... I do think biotechs will be favorable again. We know that uh, healthcare, REITs, and utilities, and a lot of consumer staples were just beaten down, especially when the yields just went crazy. It was kind of historic how, how high they shot up that quick. And I mean, we really haven't seen anything like that since, right? Paul Volcker in the early 80s coming out of the Carter years, uh, leading into the you know, the, the prosperous 80s under Reagan, which, uh, that was my childhood. I remember old Ronald Reagan. But, yeah. <laughs> which title is hilarious? Let me know. Oh, I don't know. Tell me the title, which is hilarious. Anyway. Yeah, I did see that. Uh, if somebody has it, share it below. They are going to do, or there is already an ETF. I didn't put it on there. And that could be... Um, you know, I didn't think of it. That could be a, a better way to just look at the ETF, look at the top holdings, right? If somebody has that, throw that ticker on and we will. <laughs> yeah, that, dude, good point. I, I doubt it, but there's going to be a lot of ad spend. And this is kind of from what I've seen Nexstar does. It's those, the even years are the years they get the big boost. And every fourth even year, right, is the... Um, is the the presidential the big one but all those contested areas that nextstar has channels they're going to be getting a boatload of money and they have it's it's for me i love being on this side because uh, you guys know i used to be a pretty hardcore libertarian and man i just i got tired of fighting with both republicans and democrats you know shout out to you what whatever side you fall on God bless you. Uh, it's it's your right to, you know, you can hash it out. But for me, um, I found dividend investing around 2018, and I just really morphed into that. And it's so much more productive. It's less stressful. You know, you don't have to worry about, about things uh, that you can't control. You have more control on where you put your money. Oh, yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> Craig, what's up, man? You've been uh, Truist Financial, right? And Key Corp. I think Darth was doing Key Corp as well. Yeah, Nancy's one of the big ones. I mean, when you get when you get that uh, Pelosi bill named after you, I'm gonna if if somebody didn't put it up, I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, yeah, AB did tank. I did see that she sold. I did a video maybe two years ago on what what Nancy was buying, and I do remember that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I'm mixed because they do have in, inside information. They know if they're crafting a bill and they know it's going to help or hurt a business, 
if it gets passed especially, then, you know, they can stand to make uh, some nice money. Let's see what else you guys are saying here. Yeah, if you got any questions, th don't throw up on your screen. Put them up on the screen. Let's. The f uh, they should have to do the same form that CEOs do. Form 41, I think it's called. Oh, speaking of CEOs, I saw on ceobuys.com just this evening that uh, the CEO of Tilray, dude, I don't know if you guys remember when the, the cannabis bubble was really inflated. Tilray was one of those hot ones. What was it? Uh, didn't they go up to like 200, 200 bucks a share? We might have to look at that. I think, uh, yeah, Kevin, you're right. The The market is closed tomorrow in observance of, I think, Martin Luther King, right? I believe. Yeah, so <laughs> Shamir, the no fun league. Hey, you know, and the not for long, right? But, well, hey, you know what? We love it. You take the good, you take with the bad. I don't. I don't think I could get into Canadian football. It's just too, too different for me. Twenty-five shares of four stocks or a hundred of one. Well, it depends on what the one is. And honestly, I think for most of us that I know that. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't believe I forgot his name. The my my uh, Indian friend who. This is what happens, I guess, when your brain's still thawing out. One of my, I look up to him, uh, Dondo Investor. <laughs> Holy cripes. Uh, Manish Pabrai. Uh, Manish Pabrai has sometimes like two or three stocks. But, uh, you know, he, yeah, he denigrates himself by saying he's just a ruthless cloner. He doesn't do anything special. But, you know, I think for most of us, 25 stocks is probably a good number to have. 100 might be too much, but I know what you're saying, 100 of one or 25 of four. But, dude, it all depends on the business. And if it's something that you are just a slam dunk, dead sure on, can't miss, knock it out of the park, you know, I could see 100 of one. But it, it just, it really all does depend. I mean, it's so hard to just give a blanket statement for that, but... If anybody has any opinions, share it. I'm going to get caught up to you guys. To you guys. What's been rough, Tim? Oh, my God. A head-on collision. That is freaking scary. My family had something like that that could have happened. And that sucks, man. That sucks wishing you a speedy recovery. And, you know, I wish I had an, a good answer for why bad things happen to good people. It's... You know, it's a it's a it's a struggle that uh, humanity's been dealing with for just I think as long as people have been uh, as long as people have been around. So we'll we'll be sending positive vibes your way, my buddy, my man Tim, and hoping that you do recover. Uh, it's no joke, you know, and that's that's what we always say is that, you know, I'll build off that just for a split second. Here is is that we're planning a trip to. Austin, Texas, to see Social Distortion and Bad Religion, two of my favorite punk bands, for my birthday in April. And, you know, my wife is looking at hotels. We're, we're planning on going for three days, two nights. And she's showing me hotels that are like 275 bucks a night, 300 bucks. And I'm like, nah, that's, that's too much. So I pull out, I'm like, look, 30 miles away, there's a Super 8 for $92. And and she has to remind me. She's like, no, we're we're not staying at a Super 8. You know, I'm not going to be bringing our kids to sleep in a room next to some crackheads in a town we've never been to. So, uh, you know, it's things like that when you say that, that we don't know what's going to happen in the future. And honestly, I mean, if I had to spend an extra 150 bucks a night or $125 a night, whatever it is, whatever the case may be, to have a better experience, be right smack dab downtown Austin, walk to everything. I mean, we can't take the money when, when you, like Charlie Munger said, right? Uh, the, the old joke went, you know, how much did Charlie leave when he died? Well, everything. You leave everything when you die. But yeah, honestly, the swing peoples of Republic, I don't know what that means. If we are a swing state, I think we're a blue state. I don't know. My man Greg, what's up? I got to give a shout out, special shout out to Greg. He's been 
emailing me for a long time and uh, he finally got his uh, veterans disability rating of 100%. So, dude, that is awesome. That is awesome. Dude, you guys are killing me here. I'm not watching the game, you know. I'm talking to you. So, yeah, fill me in what goes on. Who scored for uh, who scored for the uh, Rams? Let me know if it was Kyron Williams. I'd love that. Yeah, man, that is just so unfortunate. But you know what? You survived. You healed. I expect, I would think you have a new outlook on life. So that's cool. And I'd like to know, share with us what, when that happened, what has been something that you've learned? Like what, uh, what realization did you have? Share that with us. I'd love it. Oh yeah. I see. I missed that. Okay, good. I, I sometimes miss. I'm trying to, to, you know, screen through these quick and, uh, um, get there. Yeah, there he is. Dude, what's your name? Tell us your name. I didn't catch your name. I don't think you told me in the email. Uh, I did shout out your channel at the beginning. So, uh, hopefully you get a few more people swinging on by to see what you're doing in the world of investing. And, ooh, you guys reminded me of something. Uh, I just, I've been on Twitter. The one and only Ryan Williams has been trying to get me to go over to Blossom. Are any of you guys on Blossom? You know, Twitter has just become really, uh, or X. X has become really, I don't know if I want to say toxic, but... There's one account on there. It was do totally dividend focused and they had a change of heart and it's an anonymous account. They don't use their government name, changed their avatar, their name, changed everything. And now it's just almost every tweet is about how awful dividend investing is and you should never buy dividend stocks because you just buy VOO, just buy VU and, and that's it. And if you don't, you're an idiot kind of thing, you know? So but I get, I get it right on, on X it's extreme black and white that wins the day. Nobody wants to hear nuanced shades of gray and you try it and it, you know, and, and people are just saying stuff for engagement just to get engagement. And it's, uh, I think it's just a self-perpetuating. It pushes people to do more of the extreme because the more it just gives you more engagement and you know i don't know so i don't know i'm losing interest in uh good old x yeah nancy got but hey look at uh didn't she sell some uh nvidia right options i think they sold them though so they they didn't keep it they didn't get that big run up for nvidia i believe oh ray what's going on man? i'll wave to you hey ray uh nice to see you here Innovative industrial properties. We had started in on them. We sold a bunch. I'm just very well run. They have low debt, very well run business. But I think that it's hard for me to predict what's going to happen when it's going. It's a matter of when, right? When at the federal level that cannabis is legalized and I don't know what that's going to do when banks can make loan because from what I understand part of IIPR's thing is that they are masquerading as a as a like a marijuana bank and they built in a lot of loans to their tenants and they're getting it back through increased uh square footage per per square foot rent right but if the tenant defaults and they talk about converting their space into, uh, in, say, industrial or logistics, they're not going to be able to charge that. Like, there's an exorbitant uh, amount that their tenants pay. It's really high. So there's a potential, potentiality for some loss from what I understand. And it's just if things keep working how they are good but if there's some bumps in the road it could get nasty and that's just uh yeah man if you signed up for the newsletter you would have got it um i, I bought six shares of td uh, around 61 ish and i bought a share of schd we bought two more shares of realty income and we bought two more shares of Hero inc ticker hrow which doesn't uh which does not pay a dividend. So you guys know that. Here we go. Andrew met someone on Reddit who owns one share of stock in 400 companies. 
yeah, I, I just don't understand that. You're almost, you. why not just buy VOO? Like, I don't understand. What are you hoping for? Because it's just way over diversified, I think. Hey, Lisa, what's, go, what's going on, Lisa? Nice to see you here. We were, we were only freshmen. Wait a minute. Are you talking about The Verve? Wasn't that a song way back when I was in the Navy? Yeah, you know what, man? And <laughs> there, there it is. Jim, that's freaking awesome, man. I could just see Jim. He's, he's just sitting looking at the door with a gun in his lap while his family sleeps. Buddy, that's probably a smart thing. And, you know, if it was up to me, that that's what I I do. And, you know, my wife's talked some sense into me. And, um, you know, like I said, we only got a few more trips with our kids because they're 15 and 16. And, and yeah, <laughs> if it was up to me, uh, I would cheap out and put us in the $90 Super 8, you know, on the wrong side of town. But when we can easily afford it. But for me, I'm like, yeah, but it's, you know, it's just to sleep there, right? So, uh, yeah, it's a blue state. You're right on that with Illinois. Look at this guy. He's also got 100%. Oh, and thank you for your service. What branch were you in, my man? And again, what's your name? I'd like to know. Not a, not a lot of you are on Blossom. I know that could, uh, you know, I don't really, I didn't see anyone here listening on, uh, listening on X if they are, but... Yeah, don't like X. Man, I've just, you know, for those of you that are on X, like Craig, you'll see, I'll, I'll post and then I just get busy and man, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Pine Reet, that one, J, oh, J and B. They do, what do they do? Let me see here. Alpine Income Property Trust. That one, um, commercial income. I don't know, we it looks so, excuse me, Jesus, it looks okay. That dividend has been frozen for a little bit, but um, I, yeah, it just looks okay. I don't know. In my opinion, I think there's better better out there than Pine, but I've never really just dug deep into it. So I don't know, maybe we can look later. Um, let me get caught up here. Hey, what's up, Sir Dude Bro Man? Nice to see you. Nice uh, talking with you on uh, on X, right? Look at Kevin is buying more Cisco. Shout out if anybody is buying Cisco. Yeah, and uh, we were talking about IIPR. So I sold and the I kept the shares I'm really underwater in just in case I'm wrong with IIPR. But uh, it's just it's just really cloudy, their future. But what else was I going to say to you? I don't remember. That happens around here. <laughs> How many bank stock dividends are there in the world? Uh, if anybody wants to Google that or ask uh, ChatGPT, maybe that has an answer, buddy. But uh, I'm going to say at least, you know, probably at least 30 minimum. And, you know, that's publicly traded. There's a lot. There's a, oh, man. That would be a good one. I guess you would have to go to Finviz. You would have to do Screener. And you would have to do... Uh, subsector it right just bank and then because not just financials right because aflac is in the financials i believe in that sector so you'd have to do banking and then dividend yield so uh, we could do it but you know there's probably a lot of junk in there that you don't want yeah I'm, you know it's funny in the 2005 berkshire annual shareholder meeting warren pontificated on a question by bill ackman and it was about financials. And Warren said financial institutions are really difficult to understand. And there's so there's so many moving parts in it that it's hard to follow, even for him, even for Charlie, even for the people on the inside, because there's things, you know, you're marking the market and your loan loss provisions. There's like all these things, there's guesstimating going on. So um, don't feel bad. And I don't feel bad, but I kind of pared down my financials, the banking, just the TD. That's the only one we have. And it's from what I can understand, <clears throat> what I've looked at, they're more conservative. And it's, uh, oh, uh, Derek and uh, EDGI talked about it on the Dividend Talk podcast where 
you know, uh, EDGI, right? He says bankers are wankers. He doesn't like the banks. But he does say that the Canadian banks do look to be like a like a different breed, you know, different kind of cat. So I don't know if it finally did. And if it did, that's good. So we've been wanting to move out of Altria, but when we sold IIPR, I had all this money sitting there and I saw that uh, I saw that Altria's dividend was coming up. We already had 25 shares, so I bought 75 to get to 100. Our cost basis in the Roth is around like 43. So hopefully it's going to climb up and give me more time to figure out what we would put that into. But uh, I know Ian just bought a big tranche of it. And, you know, my wife and I have both lost loved ones to uh, lung cancer that they smoked their, in their lives. And, uh, you know, it's just our, our decision. We're, we'd like to move out of it, but we're not in a hurry. And it's kind of like the devil we, we know right now. So dividend growth investing lives in Austin. Are you sure about that? Because I'm pretty sure, Will, that he lives in Vegas because I have talked to him and I hope he shares his name because his name is Nick. And I don't mean to point at you, but I do believe Nick lives in, uh, I believe he lives in Vegas unless he moved. So we'll see. You know, I might sign up for Blossom tomorrow. Oh, also um, the dividend tracker, Ryan, Ryan shared with me another one called, I don't want to touch my phone and disconnect the mic, Quiver. Quiv something, but the dividend tracker, I had the, it never stays connected to my bank account. So I have to keep manually updating it. And I've been trying to do it once a week and I forgot this week or last, maybe two. And it's just a pain. I want to share the portfolios, but I want it to automatically update every night. And I can do that on Simply Safe, but I can't do that on, uh, on that, uh, <laughs> dividend track. Yeah, we're talking about hotels. Hey, shout out if you're a cheapo. Uh, we're it's a, almost halfway through. We're gonna do news. Don't worry about that. There we go. All right. So Jose, this is a new channel. Check him out. Show the man some love. Give him some support. He was in the U.S. Army, so we have army. And he was grunt style, I guess, right? La same here, buddy. We got last week. We got Altria. We got. Main Street Capital. We've got IIPR dividends. We got those uh, O dividends too. Jim's got USB, Tyson Foods, and Raytheon on deck for Tuesday. So I assume that's what you are buying, right? Or is that, that's not dividends. That's spitting out, maybe. Nice. All right, all right, all right, all right. 30 bank stock dividends. Yeah, I, you're going to buy them all? I don't know, man. That's, it's, dude, I was outside today. I was working today. So uh, after this, at the conclusion of this live stream, uh, Papa Pep Pep here is going to warm up a little bit from the inside if you catch my drift before it's time for Betty Bye and work tomorrow and we just got to get through this week. We're, we're in it now. We got to get through this week, Cody, right? Citizen of the year. There you go. He's got a YouTube channel too. So drop your link in there if you want to. Yeah, so there you go, Shamir. Same thing I've tried and, you know, maybe it's better to just buy a bank ETF or you're going to have to go with consensus opinion on this one. So I tried with TD. I've listened to the earnings calls. But from everything I could get my hands on and read, they look to me like they are one of the more conservative of the Canadian banks, which from what I, under, what I understand, right, Shamir, that they're pretty intertwined with the Canadian government. So there's very little chance that they're going to ever go under. But, uh, dude, you know what I did? I looked into it and uh, I put conservative. So... Uh, I put less, so there should only be a few, and I do, I do apologize. Maybe I should turn that off. I'll think, I'll think about it. You know. All right. Yeah, it's cold. We won't get hung up on the weather here. We could all talk about weather, but. All right, all right, all right. Dividend growth. Oh, d dividend growth income between Austin and Utah. I don't know, guys. I could have swore he was from Vegas, but. 
you know, maybe I'm uh, wrong. I hope you're asking this to Shamir because I don't have any thoughts on those. I know Shamir owns Manulife, so he may have put that in there already. Um, you know, you don't have to feel bad because they're all adults, right? I mean, it's not as if Altria is coming in and like, you know, putting tobacco pouches in infants' mouths in the hospital or something. You know, getting kids to smoke. But, yeah, the jewel thing was a little shady with the, you know, what was it? Like cotton candy flavored vapes and bubblegum flavored vapes and stuff like that. Clearly that's targeted toward younger people. But, yeah, it's, you know, it's legal and it's just up to you if you want to invest. My wife and I are on that, you know... I don't know, I say you know too much. Gray area. There we go. Quinn. That's the app. So tomorrow I likely will be signing up for Quinn and just closing out my dividend tracker. Not happy at all with it. All right, we got a score update. 2117. Nice. I'm going to get caught up here. So I'm going to blow by you guys a little bit to get to news. A little bit of news. Yeah, Will, you could be right, man. I, I, I could be wrong. That's DGI, the anonymous one, right? Dividend Growth Income Channel. Who's been killing it, man? He's been awesome. Pat, I don't know. I don't know BYM. Do you mean BMY? Or is, uh, what's Bristol Myers Squibb, right? BMY, right? Yes, Chris, go ahead and tease us all, buddy. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see who's laughing when it's July, right? 115, 120, but it's a dry heat, they say. <clears throat> Oh, dude, that's right. Kevin's with the chickens and bees. The bees are fascinating. There was a documentary we watched on bees. If you guys haven't, if, you, if you're bored out of your mind and you've got nothing else to do, you might want to check out an interesting uh, documentary on bees because they're fascinating creatures. The Goog shareholders. I've looked at Google. There's talk that uh, Google could really be making a move, that they could be the one that... Uh, just shoots up with AI with everything they're doing. YouTube too. YouTube is just an incredible business. S and P Global, right? Yep. Jake. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Yeah, I think we're we're talking somebody else here. DGI, DGI. I don't know. I know. Um, there's so. There's so many, there's so many channels and, and I'm just so thrilled that you guys are here. But the, Nick is dividend growth income. So I think we're talking about uh, two of them. All right, I'm almost caught up to you guys. There he is. What's up? Good to see you, Dan. Saw you Friday night on the live stream over on uh, by Ryan's. And yeah, I'm not a, not a, I'm a fan of the NFL, right? So uh, that's, that's good. Here we go. I love seeing that. I love seeing what you guys bought and when you share it with us. So, <laughs> so dude, bro, man. Oh my God, you went on a shopping spree. J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, Broadcom, Microsoft, PepsiCo, what's up? Realty Income, Main Street Capital, Texas Instruments, Chevron, Union Pacific, that's one I have on my radar. Uh, Procter & Gamble, Home Depot, Lockheed Martin, Sherwin-Williams, Altria, McDonald's, and Visa, which your guys, yours truly, <laughs> not me truly, but uh, Ryan Williams truly did start buying Visa. Uh, Chris, I don't know it's so true because you could be responding to something I said a while ago. And I don't think I'm caught up to you guys. So we're going to get to a little bit of news. There wasn't much. A couple, uh, couple dividend raises here. And yeah, I'm right here with you. So nice pickup. So I'm gonna, we're going to hop into a little bit of dividend news from Simply Safe Dividends. And then for the fun of it, why don't we see what my top holdings are in the portfolio? So I need that... Uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which, by the way, everybody, he says it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, not the neighborhood. So check that. It's one of those Mandela effects where everybody, it's, it's a false shared belief, such as the Monopoly man does not have a monocle. Everyone thinks he does. It's the Flint Stones, not the Flint Stones. And... Uh, in Star Wars, Darth Vader does not say, Luke, I am your father. He just says, I am your father. 
one more queen at the end of We Are the Champions. The last time when the song ends, he doesn't say of the world. He just says, we are the champions. So that's uh, that's Mandela Effect. There's a bunch of them. But anyway, poppycock, enough of that. What are we, do what are we doing? Oh, yes, we're doing dividend news here. Going to latest. Let me scramble down there. Not too much, like I told you. So sippity sip here. Uh, bigger, little, little bit bigger. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. <laughs> Enterprise lifts their divs. They raise their dividend three percent. So shout out. We do have Enterprise Products partners, and I've been stubbornly waiting to add more for them to get below freaking uh, forty. No, twenty-five. Twenty-five a share. That's what it is. But yeah, real good company, and you can see they've been raising that dividend quite a bit. So we do like uh, them. They downgraded, ooh, Crown Castle, one point from 61 to 60. Uh, ticker CCI, that is a telecom tower, re-downgraded them. So there's some challenges going on there. Activist pressure, I don't know what that is, but uh, if you invest, you might want to look into them. Look, Stag, they raised their dividend. Yes, they're a monthly payer, but only 0.7% super slow dividend growth and that's one of the reasons i got out of them is that uh, good company but that dividend does not raise quick flowers foods they raised uh refreshed their outlook on flowers foods so they do uh yeah just a lot of uh ingredients right that go and f no not f oh my gosh here i gotta see real quick what do they make it's gonna tell us here flowers foods shout out if you invest here you go. They own Nature's Own, Dave's Killer Bread, Canyon Bakehouse, Wonder Bread, and Tasty Cake. So if you wanted to own Tasty Cake, you would own Flowers Foods along with Wonder Bread. And look at that, 28%, 20-year CAG or 20 years. Well, we didn't mean this to turn into this. Uh, yeah, they raise it a penny a year, it looks like. Not much, slow, 4.08% uh, dividend yield. So that could be an interesting one. Well, I stand corrected. <laughs> Free cash flow payroll ratio is yucky, icky. All right, we don't want to turn into a flowers thing here, but there you go. New company if you're not aware of them. BlackRock raised their dividend 2%, which is their 15th straight year of dividend growth. 98, safe, very safe dividend safety score. And last one, Perigo. They downgraded them to 60. We covered Perigo a long time ago, and... If you don't know, what Perigo does is they do white label. So when you see the Walgreens brand aspirin, Perigo makes it. And it's just, they make the aspirin, it goes into the blank bottle, and then Walgreens slaps their label onto it. So that's what Perigo does. And Realty Income last week declared their next dividend. And because I don't know, we're going to see who my top... We got a lot of cash. Look at, it doesn't, we'll get to it down there, but oop, we're too big here. It's going to sc scroll out a little bit. Uh, let's do percent of portfolio. Look at that. Nexstar, because it's shot up, is now number one. 11.5% of Nexstar Media. And then PepsiCo, J&J &J at 8.3%. So yeah, Nexstar, we have that call option out. We'll talk about that probably next weekend. We don't want to spend all day, but. Uh, yeah, pause the video if you want to look any more in depth on, on this and some of these numbers here. But I want to get down to the combined cash. So look at that Vici. We're up to 125 shares of Vici. 2.5% of the combined. This is three portfolios combined, mind you. And let's see, where's your cash? Look at, look at that little old Diageo. We just started them. Two shares. And of course it's run up. I wanted it to go below 140. We have $5,580 of cash available, so sitting on quite a bit, and that is 3.6% of the portfolios, and that right here is, if you saw when I dropped down, the bridge, the Roth, and the self-directed. And as far as dividends this week, oh my God. Sorry, we're gonna get back to the chat here, but <laughs> no dividends for the next two weeks. That is just sad, teardrop. 
And then we got a few coming, so. I thought Pepsi. Oh, we already got PepsiCo. Alrighty. Enough of that. Enough of that. There's some news. There's a live portfolio look in. I'm going to scroll through you guys quick to get caught up on you. And see who said something interesting that picks pikes my interest. Craig, you bought Starbucks? Yeah, that's getting close to $90 a share. Want to see that under under 90? Would love to. Key Corp and MFC. I don't remember MFC. You got me there, buddy. Yeah, UNP. 61 shares. You remember when it was down low around 200, right? 200 a share? Uh, what's at the top? Here, fun, fun thing for the end of the show here. When the market crashes, theoretically, next week, in two weeks from now, the market drops. Just everything is just getting killed. What one or two things is at the very tippy top of your buy list? For me, Costco and Visa. Costco and Visa are at the top. Costco, number one. Number one. I, I want to see that under 600 and would love to see it closer to 500. Yeah, Matt, you're all up on that uh, <laughs> Petróleo Brasileiro or whatever it is, P Brazil Petrol or something. Um yeah, I just can't. I don't know how you guys feel. It's just, it's like trading for, it's, it's risk I don't understand. You know, I would have to become, uh, yeah, Stag did up their dividend. Fun fact, I have a monocle and I have the pocket watch, but I'm working on the monocle someday. Oh no, what happened? Ah, very interesting. I hope Gitquin got better because Ryan says it looks nice. And uh, we're, <laughs> we're going to see. Kevin, I'm going to try and get to your live stream tomorrow. I missed last week's. But, yeah, I am, in fact, little known. If I have a Wikipedia page, that should go on there. Um, oh, dude, I've never, bought, I've never bought Dave's Killer Bread. It always looks too expensive. Do you guys remember a show with that comedian Daniel Tosh? Was it Tosh.0? So he had a Wikipedia page, and I think they stopped it, but he would encourage everybody to just put the craziest things on his Wikipedia, just whatever you wanted to, uh, to uh, yeah, upload. Yeah, look at this. We had a couple of Dave's Killer Bread fans. Well, there you go, Flowers Foods, if you want to uh, look into them. They own that, and they own Wonder Bread. Yeah, it's... It's, it is, Kevin, but we also have to remember that we don't share the three 401ks that are a big chunk of our net worth is in. So it's actually less. I probably should figure that out, but it's run up. I haven't really been buying Nexstar since it was in the low 140s, and we'll see what happens. I have a $175 covered call that expires Friday. And I thought, looking at the chart, I sold it when it was 159. And literally, that was on a, two Fridays ago. On Monday, that's when the bugger just went up to, it was like $12 in a day. And it's just like, of course, this is what happens, you know. But it's run out of steam a little bit, and it's chopping sideways here in the low 170s. We'll see what's at. What's up, Travis? Oh, you got the barber shop out there in North Dakota, right? Always a good one for the Roth. I prefer it into the tax advantage accounts because the dividends on REITs are non-qualified. So you're going to pay your ordinary income tax rate unless you hold them inside of a tax advantage account like a Roth or I guess a SEP IRA. I don't know if that's possible. I don't even know much about those. Oh, that's right. Uh, Rick, I think Rick left. He was buying Pfizer. Uh, yeah, in the newsletter, I talked about it. And Warren says he has no idea how to analyze or know what's going to be, what drugs in the pipeline are going to blow up. And how do you know? If you can look at a list of all the drugs in J&J &J or Bristol-Myers or Sanofi's pipeline, even the ones before they've gone to trials or FDA approval, how, how do you know which one is going to be the next Wagovi or the next Stellara, something like that? You don't, which is why Warren says you buy these pharmaceuticals when they're trading at attractive valuations and you hold them for 5 to 10 years so you can let the drugs in the pipeline play out and see which ones are going to blow up. Good. Going back to that as we wind down here, 
which stocks are at the tippy top of your market crash buy list. Got Chris with Microsoft and Costco. I love it. Yeah, Microsoft, um, you, you got this genius right here that picked up a couple shares at like 205. And I was like, yeah, it feels expensive. I'm going to wait for the 180s, 190s to really start ramping it up. And then it just went up and God bless it. You know, hey, you know, I wish we were all psychic. Investing in the rear view is really easy. Shamir's going with McDonald's and Apple. Solid. Sir, dude, bro, man. That's real bra, man. It's going with uh, Broadcom and Microsoft. Probably also Visa. That didn't work. That was, uh, we've been watching Outlander, which takes place in 1740s Scotland. And they use a lot of slang at the time. And they'll say things are bra, B-R-A-W. Everybody's a bonnie lass and things are just bonnie. Chris is, buy <laughs> Chris is buying Visa. I love it. Yeah, dude, I'll be in with you on perfect time, right? I've got 5,000 bucks cash. So, hey, I'll be cheering on a market crash. But I don't know if you're like me. The problem is, is that if the market were to crash for a month, I would probably spend 95% of my money on day one of the crash. <laughs> it's just the way it goes, you know. Amazon, solid. They're going to buy them. Average on UNP, 193. Dude, that is very nice. Hopefully I can get them there. That would suck for you, you know, coming back. You would also, uh, Realty Income in Maine, very nice. Yeah, Rick, he's the one. He bought Pfizer. Yeah, good good on you. I hope they do well. I really do hope they do well. I'm a little bit more skeptical. Uh, shoot, we didn't get a chance to look at them. So maybe we could do something with them. Uh, maybe we'll go quick. Here, we'll go quick. All right. Sorry, I didn't get caught up to you guys, but we're going to look really quick for my guy here at, uh, at Pfizer. We should be sharing. We're going to go here. P -F -E. Pfizer. All right. So what do we got here? Yeah, they give it a 75. Oh, my God. That dividend yield is screaming high. Let's see. Why am I not sharing? There it goes. Okay. Sorry. I forget my phone's on the delay here. you got to understand, people, that I'm a little bit. All right. There's a couple uh, reaffirmations if you want to read those. Pause the video. For any of this, I'm going to go very quickly here. They have been growing the dividend. All right, 12 years of growth. January 25th, there you go. If anybody wants to get on that dividend, make sure you hold it by the 24th to be sure. Oh, my God, yeah, their dividend yield is 50% above the five-year average. That's quite high. Oh, my God, excuse me. Very unprofessional. 52-week price range, they're, yeah, at the very low end of it. Here we go again. Look at this. We got a blank screen. You got to love this. Oh my God. Why does it do this to me? I got a new computer and all. I guess it doesn't want you to see. I'm so sorry. Yep, there we go. Okay. We've got a glitch in the system. But yeah, if, okay. Yucky. That should come down. Free cash flow payout ratio, 112%. You never know what you're going to get here. Life was a box of chocolates, another Mandela effect. Forrest Gump, check it, never said life is like a box of chocolates. He said life was a box of chocolates. So that's a Mandela effect. I, I'm guilty of it. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that. Uh, free cash flow per share. Yeah, see, they got a ginormous boost from COVID, and now it's coming down. So we'll see if the analysts expect it to pick back up. Uh, we got to go quicker here. They've been buying back shares still, kind of slowed down. Uh, return on equities falling off a cliff. Same thing for Roik. Everything, their margins are compressing. Net debt climbing just a little bit, but it's still pretty low. They have a lot of ICR. So there you go. Just, I don't know. I think J&J &J is a little bit better for my liking, but that's good. Some of you still like Dave's Killer Bread starting to get. Does Darth really? We should start here. What stocks does Darth not have in his portfolio? And I'll tease him on that if he's here because he has a lot. 200 some, I think. Maybe. Uh, EPD, I believe, is a MLP, right? Sorry, I have all this in my head. I'm going to just check that for you real quick on EPD. We're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. EPD, 
these dividends are it's a k1 right so you're going to get a k1 because it is a master limited partnership so it's an mlp did i say elp there <laughs> shimmer you beat me to it darth does own or steve uh darth does own everything you're correct so tell me don't tell me what darth owns tell me what he doesn't own but hey that's the, that's his style you know that's that's the way he likes to do it uh if the market crashes backing up on unp i can get on board with that steve or kevin <laughs> you guys all run, you people all run together now yeah you you answered some of them you answered for me on a crash you're dresh dude we're both gonna we'll you know we'll thelma and louisa we'll hand in hand by what is this scratching <laughs> he looks like a crackhead uh microsoft and costco and visa you can't go wrong with any of those microsoft i don't know how that's a giant i don't know if we'll ever see come down you know they're just going to keep buying their competition as soon as something looks like it could threaten them i think they're just going to overpay for it and eliminate the threat chris i could totally see that i haven't really been following uh pfizer so i could totally see that they will fall and if you do believe that they're going to recover one day though if you're watching that could be a good buy yes don't confuse brains in a bull market how's that saying go don't good yeah anyway you're right everyone looks like a genius in a bull market well said shamir uh the vix yeah the vix is hard i you know it's just it's such I, i'd rather not the vix from what i know is just good for a quick trade you don't want to sit in it you don't want to use it as insurance but yeah it's uh oh for wait the vix trick what's the vix trick i don't know what you mean by vix trick i know what it is it's the fear index but uh, okay good i'll probably buy you know that's the problem when everything looked cheap it was just that's why i i got a share of mcdonald's at i think 135 when the market covid crashed a good pure natural gas stock with a dividend i don't know about pure does anybody have an opinion i, I know eog isn't eog might be close yeah let me know what do you guys have uh i can't think of one off the top of my head there you go i knew kevin would come at it ato ato is a good one right yeah what how many positions do you guys think is too many he thinks 70 about oh my god you got down to about 10 but see that's the thing though if you've got four or five etfs that's just so much diversification right there so that's actually that's actually a good strategy i'm on board with that my friend <laughs> i'm on board but yeah costco i really like them and you know i want to i want to address kind of that that thought about uh you know i predominantly focus on dividend paying stocks and you know the older you get the more stability you might want to have so a lot of the big blue chips pay those stable dividends if you're younger you have more time so don't let a very small dividend yield scare you away I know we want to chase yield we can be tempted into that but honestly it's just all about you know as morgan housel says what allows you to sleep well at night not everything can be quantified on the spreadsheet you have to do what is best for you and is going to meet your needs what you can stick with for a long time and you know i know my friend over there on twitter is just trashing dividend investing every chance he can get but uh, you, you know, take that with a grain of salt because when you start seeing that engagement, you, that's all you want to keep doing. Uh, I've felt it on YouTube. When you have a video pop off, you think that's all that you should be doing and be doing more of that. So uh, that's the thing I wanted to tell you about investing that I've learned is don't, don't chase yield. Don't not buy something because the dividend is small, which I have been guilty of. Uh, Costco and NVIDIA and Visa come to mind. I remember looking at them and saying, yeah, but those yields are so small. But just there's no right answer for anybody. It's uh, again, when you see somebody 
throw up the VU chart and say, yeah, but look at if you go back to 2010, you buy realty income and you buy VOO. VOO crushes realty income. Okay, but what if we go back to 2000 or 1995, like when O first started? It's a different story. And again, like Shamir, you said, don't confuse genius with... <laughs> I like it, Kevin. That's funny. Uh, don't confuse genius in a bull market. So, you know, like I said, VOO, dude, we've had the longest bull market in history. We've had the tech boom helping that out. So, and also ZERP, right? Zero interest rate policy. I think you guys are getting hit with another commercial here because I sure did. But yeah, there you go. We made it. We, we made it, everybody. And uh, hey, I got a show to watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna warm up on the inside. I got some uh, I got some Wild Turkey 101 with my name on it. And again, dude, I thank all of you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, hit me up. Uh, you know, do this. Russ at DapperDividends.com. If you want to send me an email or just reply to one of the videos, I get all the comments. Mostly, some of them it's weird. I can't reply to. I don't know why that is, but I try to reply to everybody's comments. But if you have any ideas or you'd like to hear something discussed on a live stream or just a video, share your thoughts. I, this is a community thing. I want to make this about uh, all of us. So, hey, go enjoy the, the rest of your night. We uh, I got Detroit is up 24 to 17. Looks like it could be a good game. And to address, you called it, man. You called it. We're going to get out of here. I love you guys. Thanks for letting me come into your holes for about an hour or so. And uh, thanks. I appreciate you guys. I have fun doing this. And I will talk to all of you. All of you. All of you people. I'll talk to you in the next episode. So uh, thank you, though, so very much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Hey.